This video will show you how to create a new company file details setup way in QuickBooks Desktop. So this is QuickBooks Desktop homepage screen and you go to file right here file menu and select new company. And uh, the screen will open it will say quick setup and uh, if you just want to create it if you don't see uh, a new company uh, if you see new no new company like this one you just click this one here create a new company right here just click that one okay it's right here uh, we also have a separate video uh, dealing with express start if you just want to do express start the uh, kind of quick way uh, you can watch another video we have another video for express start so in this video we're going to talk about a detail start so this is the one we're going to create company file click this one so at this point the, it'll it'll go through the interview progress in here and uh, you have to fill out uh, company name so all you need required fill is this company name just put company name in here let's say uh, the company name is uh, San Diego uh, computer retail store and uh, so you can copy the same or if the legal name is slightly different than your company name you can put the legal name and the tax ID so if you this is the federal tax ID number so if you like uh, one two some maybe nine digit number like this and you can fill out the street address alright like this and you can fill out your website and everything and next as you can see here move a little bit okay so at this point uh, you just have to pick the industry type you can go through this list it's a long list and it covers almost all type of uh, uh, industries so it's up to select close to the type of business you're going to do so I just have, I'm just going to pick uh, retail uh, right here retail retail shop or online commerce like this one like this one this is the one I want to pick because this happens to be a retail store I'm going to click select this one okay and uh, this so this is basically to create a chart of account this will help to create a chart of account uh, that will fit for this retail shop business uh, so th that's what you'll do chart of accounts and certain item details thing so click next okay so now it's asking for your uh, uh, business type okay at this point you should have uh, your you know tax return handy so you can fill out if, if, if you need, is it yes corporation or LLC or sole proprietorship or let's just say this is a LLC single member click next okay so it's asking for a uh, uh, month for fiscal year it starts in January you can select January um, so this is how you do it so if you, if you file tax return uh, from January to December so you want to you may want to select fiscal year it starts in January all right let's click next uh, this point don't leave this one don't pick this one the moment you click that one it will basically uh, won't create any company file you can't come back so uh, so don't click that one so so you, if your admin admin password you can type it in here or the you can just leave it blank in here let's say I'm going to create a password here like this like this uh, if we need to change it later on you can change it too but you don't want to change it normally you don't want to change this one so just make sure you have a password handy next one 
okay so that should do it so it's you can just as you can see it's right here up to up to here but now we create company file and remove all the progress all the way up here so click next and you have to you have to tell you where you want to save it just just select the uh, your directory here okay and go through this it will take a couple of seconds okay next okay it's so asking uh, what do you sell is a service type or products only or in this case I'm going to choose both to do the retail store and also do uh, uh, some service uh, customer support type so let's select that one okay uh, so if you want to enter your sales in QuickBooks so it's individually or uh, weekly sales or point of sale so we want to select uh, which one is right for you just, I'm just going to select uh, uh, this one you want to select sales to see okay and do you want to charge sales tax of course and if you don't want to charge sales tax just select no so retail store the you know the charge sales tax okay and you want to create uh, estimates and for each, they gave you recommendation in there right here recommendation for your business we don't want to create estimate uh, no recommended for a business track customer orders yes very important one and we want to use billing statements in QuickBooks uh, no we create sales receipt most of the time they pay cash or make the payment when we uh, sale products okay track bills yes we want to track inventory of course track time you can say no or yes depend okay and we have employees if you handling payroll uh, or if we have this 1099 type people working for you at this point I'm going to say no or you can say yes I just say no okay and next so beginning is right here okay so there's your chart of accounts you can go through this this created minimum you have all kinds of accounts in here that you that you need for your business so if you don't need anything I don't, I'm not, I don't have automobile, automobile expense, you can just unclick it. When you want to uh, save it, you can add it later on. Go to this list, and if you need something, you can just check right here. Say, buy real insurance, or you can just use insurance expense. It's always better to uh, make, a, make a chart of accounts shorter, not, uh, not, not only make a long list, you know, then it would be. Uh, Hard to reconcile, and it will basically will miscategorize uh, all the expenses. So you want to make it uh, uh, the one you need. Okay, and uh, so at the, at the bottom you'll see here, uh, ask an accountant. So if certain certain expenses you don't know where to put it. So this is where you should go, and then review with your accountant, or if uh, you don't have an accountant. Uh, you don't deal with accountant you just deal with your own boss you can still put it in here and then uh, you can run this report and let your boss review it uh, later on so this one is a very important one you should use it more okay next there we go congratulations go to setup now all right so at this point you're asking uh, do you want to set up your bank account or start working? Uh, it will say right here, uh, get all the details in QuickBooks. It will say no data to enter at the bottom here, no data to enter right now. No problem, you can always add it later. All right, let's say you do have bank account ready. Just click this one, all right? Let's say your new bank account is Chase. It says checking. Alright, 
don't want you can you don't have to put the account number here they don't want to put the opening balance but you have to uh, can download later on or uh, uh, or come up with some way to reconcile your big new balance uh, uh, say another one another checking account you have so if you want to take two checking accounts like the same name right here see already used so you have to come up with a way to uh, let's say this one bank number is something like this or do the same thing in here just to be consistent enough like this so this one is one checking account the other one is the other checking account let's say you have another savings account like this and let's continue okay and now they want to sell uh, uh, QuickBooks checks uh, I say no you can always buy from uh, uh, discount stores online or even from Costco a lot cheaper save some money continue okay so this one is done and if you want to uh, add your contact folks customers vendors you can click it here right here click it here like you can import it too so we can do that later I'll start working okay so this is your home page screen it looks like this uh, and the chart of accounts is right here so we want to look at the chart of accounts and item and services these two we want to look at it so chart of account you can click it here or from company menu chart of accounts is right here click this one it's open now we want to make it bigger okay so right here it looks like this and everything looks good so you just go through this and see if you don't need anything you can just uh, delete it just delete it is very easy just go in here right click it and then delete account right here delete account and if you want to add new account you can just go at the bottom and say account and new or any accounts you just right click it and new just select new one so when you click new the screen looks like this so if you just for income just click income if you use for expense account you want to create so select that one and if you're buying a fixed asset and uh, major purchase items so if you fix asset then here and if you're creating another bank account it will uh, as you can see on the right side it will tell you some neat detailed information fixed asset right here fixed asset account like buildings land computer equipment uh, you can just name whatever you want and loan that's your uh, uh, long-term loan or uh, it's basically a long term loan from your bank. The credit card is separate here. Credit card is a liability account. So it is also can create credit card from here. And the equity is uh, if you are adding uh, your money to your business and the other account types is pretty specific. You don't need to add accounts receivable. You don't, you, they already have one account receivable. So that should be enough. Don't try to create too many accounts receivable. You don't need it. Uh, then you can select these are all specific types and if you are uh, retail and if you want to identify your cost of goods sold separately then you just click in here like this and uh, you can add whatever you want like uh, let's say you have shipping expense shipping cost you ship your products to, uh, to customers and closed right here right here shipping cost and let's say you don't like shipping cost in here you want to uh, you want your, uh, the first one here let's say let's move it here put cursor here let's move it like this you can move anything you want in here move it down if you want it has to be in the same uh, type cost of goods sold cost of goods sold expense to expense let's say you want to move this one up here like this yeah, that's how you have to do it. Okay, so that's your uh, uh, chart of accounts and uh, item list. So this is the one you want to use for uh, creating your invoice item list. So they have created a certain uh, inventory item, items here. And if you're gonna uh, track inventory, then you have to go to preferences, and then you have to 
you have to set up items in here. See that? This is the preferences. Edit, select references, and you will see items in here. And you'll say right here. Right here. If it's not on, there it is. And so now all you have to do is you want, whenever you buy certain new inventory items, right here, inventory part, right here, like this. So that's that's the one we will uh, we have another video to deal with uh, uh, how to set up inventory and how to set up uh, other service items. Uh, so uh, so this this is basically to create a new company file that details set up with uh, the chart account and uh, item services. So that's what we did. So thank you so much for uh, listening. Uh, please subscribe. Uh, our YouTube video channel. Our YouTube video channel is BP Controller. So you can just uh, uh, click the red uh, YouTube button, that subscribe button. Bye.